Layering is what defines fall and winter fashion and I'm going to be giving you a complete guide on layering right here right now. We're going to start off with the basics and as we progress through the video it's going to get more complex. So I want you to think of layering like music. Every great music track out there has different layers of like hi-hats, snares, drums, synth, drill beats for example. Whatever music you enjoy, if you really listen for it, you can make out each layer. And there's a lot of artistry that comes with that and that's what makes some albums great and some albums aren't that good. And all those layers come together to make a beautiful song just like all the layers of your clothing come to make a great outfit. So it's always great to have a variety of options to layer with. So let's start off with the standard basic layering technique of just a top underneath a jacket. This is the base technique that'll cover a wider range of outfits. And although this technique does lack some uniqueness, mainly because you see it all the time, I do it myself, it doesn't mean that it's bad. But drop the regular tee for a tank top and you've got pretty much the same fit but it vibes differently, right? The tank top has a deeper collar, which just layers differently than a standard tee. So just as a tip, I always throw on a necklace whenever I'm wearing a tank top, like what I'm doing right now, because that's free real estate around your collar area. And I think it looks bare if there isn't anything on there, but that's just a tip because I've been wearing necklaces my whole life. If you're not into necklaces, it's totally fine. And since as of the recording of this video, it's the top of the fall, this is perfect for those warmer days. Now, as we move on to the later part of fall where it's a lot colder, this is where you can throw on a hoodie or a turtleneck under a jacket. A hoodie thrown over the collar of a jacket makes a really big difference and you get additional warmth plus it looks really good turtleneck will give off this sophisticated type of energy or k-drama depending on the media that you watch and this combination will work with any jacket that doesn't already have a hood don't ever layer a hoodie with a jacket that already has a hoodie on it that double hoodie look is now what's up so with hoodies i recommend starting off with a black slate gray or a cream hoodie but yeah if you compare the four of these a tank a regular tee a turtleneck and a hoodie each of these gives off a different vibe and that gives you options which is always great in fashion and obviously you want to get creative with your colors but i won't be getting into that with this video now after that this is when you can start messing with texture because texture is really an overlooked aspect in fashion not too many people think about it because each clothing item that you have can come in a different texture check me out think of your standard jacket or overshirt. most of the time it can be replaced with corduroy for example corduroy kind of has a ribbed feeling that looks a lot different while having the same cut or shape as a normal piece this even applies to pants as well i have these corduroy pants from full clothing and this alone can add texture to a fit that goes very underappreciated i mean texture in general just goes underappreciated with any product like the handlebars on my scooter have a textured grip handle the ps5 controller has the actual buttons as its texture square triangle circle x but yeah just be open to different type of materials like corduroy obviously nylon ripstop leather knitted materials there's just so many options out there that you should keep an eye out for but texture doesn't mean it has to cover a full piece like the entire jacket doesn't have to be corduroy or leather or any of that you can find items that has different panels of different textures like check out this fleece jacket from Unicorn it's pretty much the engineered garments collaboration just a lot more dumbed down there's a mix of nylon and fleece mixed with zippers and other materials and again that is what provides texture take a shot every time i say texture i'm gonna be saying it a lot now take a look at this rosen x crew neck there's this piping surrounding the piece that hits the light difference provides a little color there's also a mix of nylon in there as well or take a look at this a cold wall raincoat there's this translucent gray panels which just makes the jacket look really dope but it doesn't have to be that complicated either even a graphic tee will add some texture to your fits but if you want to save some money from buying a whole different jacket a simple thing you can do is just scrunch up your sleeves i really like to roll my sleeves up because most of the time the fabric underneath is a slightly different shade or just looks really good scrunching them up is another option as well and provides these ridges on your sleeves that would otherwise just be flat and boring i do this all the time i'm currently doing it right now with this jacket right here and whenever you do this it allows you to show off cool accessories like these right here from vitaly the sponsor of today's video vitaly is absolutely my favorite place to go for jewelry i've been a customer for years so I'm really glad that they're sponsoring this video. Almost all my rings and bracelets do come from them. Everything I'm wearing right now on my right hand is from Vitaly. So let me show y'all a few products they sent over. First up are these rings, all of which are made with stainless steel. Not gonna turn your finger green. And this first one has an oscillating design that I really dig. It's a little bit big in terms of real estate on your finger, but it looks nice. My favorites are these two right here, the Drift and the Tangent. I'm a sucker for sharp lines, which is why the Tangent is worn more. It has a minimal look, but is sharp and is really striking. Now we got two bracelets, the Composite and the Surge. The Composite is really nice because you can get some contrasting colors 
or keep it simple like me. And the cool part about this bracelet is it almost has a seatbelt buckle type latch. And the Surge bracelet is my favorite. I got it in gold. It's like your standard bracelet, but it does have an extra chain, which will dangle a little bit. And that's a nice touch. Next up is this ear cuff that has this robotic design. I really like it. Definitely not used to wearing something like this. And I think this pairs really well with tech fits. Matches that vibe, you know. I personally should have gotten the larger size. And the circuit necklace has got to be my most worn item. Design is simple, yet cyberpunk-esque. I highly recommend any of these items and Vitaly in general. If you guys want a nice discount, make sure to click that link in the description for 20% off. Check them out. And thank you, Vitaly, for sponsoring today's video. So next up are accessories. It could be from the sponsor, it's totally up to you, but I am always for an additional ring, bracelet, or a watch to complement your outfit. And if you guys know me, I'm a huge fan of necklaces and all this jewelry in general adds another texture like we talked about earlier, but instead of different fabrics, we're incorporating different materials like metal. And you'll see a lot of products in general incorporate metal, whether it be from a jacket incorporating zippers or a simple steering wheel incorporating the brand's badging. So always keep jewelry in mind. You'll see the difference between a fit without jewelry and with jewelry. But let's talk about other accessories like headwear. The reason why I love headwear, and I do have an unhealthy obsession with it by the way, is because it's typically the cheapest item on an outfit, but it has so much weight to it. I used to think I couldn't wear hats or beanies or anything like that, I don't know why, but believe me, you could, you just gotta find the right one. So I wore this outfit in one of my last videos and it didn't feel right. It felt more like spring vibes and that's totally fine, but currently it's fall and as soon as I threw on a beanie, it felt right. A simple $10 beanie just changed the entire vibe of this outfit. Now most of my beanies do come from Amazon, I'll leave a bunch of links in the description if you guys wanna pick some up, but you kinda have to go through some trial and error to see what fits your head shape. Now, now going back to the metals that I talked about earlier, check out this right here. This is a safety pin. This isn't an original idea, by the way. I saw it from a brand called Maybe Tomorrow, but this safety pin adds another texture along with this knitted beanie. And you can just see within the entire fit that there's a ton of layers. It doesn't have to be more physical layers of fabric. And the safety pin on this beanie is just chef's kiss. I think it really completes the fit. And you don't want to forget about bags or scarves. A simple strap or cloth hanging around your neck or body is already enough to add some more depth to your fit. And these are items that stick out and move freely on the body so it has more flow, which provides, you guessed it, more texture. So as of right now, we are already in some solid fits territory. If you take all of this advice so far, you're gonna come up with some good outfits. But to move further, grab yourself some puffers or vests. So let's start off with vests. The great thing about these is they are perfect all year round, depending on which type that you get. And because it is missing the sleeves, it allows you to pair it with more items. A technical vest is awesome. It gives you those futuristic dystopian vibes, which can be worn with a light top. But when it comes to colder weather, it can be worn with long sleeves, hoodies, and even other jackets. Now a puffer vest or puffers in general, does the exact same thing, but it does give you that fall, winter, even hiking type of vibes. Personally, I like throwing a puffer underneath a hoodie. It's super sleek. You get contrasting materials. It's plenty warm without looking like Jesse from Breaking Bad. Or you can mix both. I have this puffer jacket that I threw on a technical vest over. And I think it looks really dope. You want to get creative with it. Have some fun. I know for the longest time with me, I just brushed off puffers and vests in general because I just thought there were better garments to pick up out there. Don't be like me. All right, so we're doing pretty good so far. Plenty of dope fits that you can come up with. But if you look at the overall silhouette of what we've been talking about, it just consists of jackets and layers that goes down to your waist. So now I want you to cinch that jacket up and go for a crop jacket or extend it to add some more drama to your fit. This drama that you get from a cinch or an extended jacket is immediately noticeable and tasteful. Cropping your jackets as a DIY is recommended. If you know how to do it, I personally don't know. But I am gonna start doing it with some old pieces. I just gotta learn. But extended length jackets, man, there's something to it. I think that drape is beautiful and if you don't like it, I'm gonna put some dirt in your eye because check out this Y3 overshirt. Yeah, I could find your average coach's jackets and it'd be fine, but that extra length just kind of makes you seem a little more fashionable. This is something I immediately noticed when I first moved to New York City. Everyone wore overcoats, trench coats, and extended length pieces. Obviously, it gets cold out here in the winter. New Yorkers gotta walk everywhere, so you want some extra warmth. Because me being from the desert, Albuquerque, New Mexico, everyone just wore flannels or work jackets. So seeing a bunch of people wear extended length pieces was really cool to see. So just keep an eye out for anything that has an extended length. I'm talking about raincoats, trench coats, overcoats. There's parkas and all that. So grab yourself one of these, utilize texture and layering with a hoodie or a tank top. 
to come up with some really dope fits. Now, last but not least is an additional layering technique called reverse layering. Personally, not the biggest fan of this. I'll do it on occasion though. This is where you layer a longer length item with a shorter length one. And I would be remiss if I did not mention double zip jackets or button ups. So double zip jackets are what I always look out for. What I really appreciate about these is that you can unzip it from the bottom to reveal the color of the shirt that you're wearing underneath, which is just another element of layering. And that's the same case with button ups. You can just unbutton it from the bottom. And also with these jackets, they allow you to sit down without looking like my boy Sheev from episode one. So jackets with these double zips will probably cost a little bit more, but it's worth it. Okay, why don't we break down some fits, see if I actually take my advice. Let's start off with this first one right here. I'm layering a hoodie underneath a coat. Both of these are from Uniqlo. I styled these with some crop trousers and some vans, and I finished it off with a tote bag and a Y3 cap. I want a little bit more color in this fit. I could have just gone with a black hoodie, but that's no fun. So I picked out this light maroon kind of purplish hoodie. Super soft. I definitely recommend it. I'll leave a link in the description. Hoodies underneath jackets, man. I'm telling you. So here's a slight tech fit for you guys. I have this a cold wall shirt layered underneath this Y3 overshirt. I did cuff the sleeve so I can show off the accessories. We got a necklace going on, a sling bag from Orbit Gear, and I guess I'm technically reverse layering because these pants are cropped. They're basically the cheaper alternative of the Akron and P30s. And I topped it off with a knitted beanie. There's a few textures. We got an elongated Y3 overshirt. It's a pretty nice fit. And here's just another example. I have more fits if you guys want to follow me on Instagram. But here I got on in a cold wall button up. What's cool about this is there's a graphic on the right side. It's very subtle. It really breaks up the top instead of it being an all white button up. Because I filmed this at the end of the summer, top of the fall, it was still pretty hot. So I did layer it with a tank. Run a beanie as well. I got on some cargo pants with some boots. So this is a very subtle fit, not too complicated. Oh, my bad, my oh. bad, sorry. Yeah, no, 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 sorry. It's all, I'll get, I'll get, sorry. hey. Hey man, I like your fit. Man. Thank you. Thank you. I really like it too. <laughs> Who's this guy? Anyway, anyway, I'm making a layering video. You want to be in the video? Yeah, sure. All right. Uh, hey, how about you break down your fit, bro? Yeah. Well, this is a Ronning fleece uh, quarter zip layered with some with, with a Rick Owens like long. This thing is just like a dress, pretty much. They got the Sanjeev embroidered, hey, um, okay. flared. Everything kind of works together because this kind of reveals this. Then the colors kind of work yeah, a together. lot of layers. I like it. There's like there's chromatic layers and and literal layers. So uh, everything kind of works together. This is layered over these baskets. Sorry, you can't hear me. There's a train. Um, this is my audio layered with the train audio. Uh, also, this layer as well with like just a nice contrast of the fluffy, and then this kind of goes over my hand like that. Okay. And everything kind of works together. Hey, appreciate that. Um, yeah, thank maybe you. Maybe not bumping into me, but hey. Yeah. Uh, oh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Hey, see you around, man. Uh, this guy should start. He's no, still, you won't. I don't know who that was, but he should, he should probably start a fashion channel or something, man. He'd probably do well. All right, so y'all know how to layer now. Enjoy the fall time. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you haven't already, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok at FlyWithJohnnyTai. And until then, stay fly. Check out Vitaly. Deuces.